Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning and this is for the week of June 1st through the 7th and I'm going to be doing something really different today so I'm really excited about that. Um, for this week I'm going to be participating in the Black Lives Matter Planner Challenge. Um, this was created by Queens Fancy Plans and Katie Did Plans on Instagram and I'm going to link both of their Instagrams down below so you can go check them out. But anyways, they had this great idea for a challenge to create an entirely black and white spread um, in honor of the Black Lives Matter movement. And so I'm really excited to participate for this week. I know um, the challenge was supposed to be the following week, but because I'm behind in my spreads right now, I really wanted to um, go ahead and do this as soon as I could. And so for this week, I actually, when I look through my kits, I didn't have any kits that were in black and white. Um, I don't tend to use a lot of monochromatic color schemes because I tend to gravitate towards more colorful kits. And so um, because I don't really have many stickers to work with, I decided to print out some pictures myself and um, I'm just going to try to use this um, to create my spread for this week. So I'm going to quickly let you guys know what I decided to print out. So here at the top, we have what are going to be my full boxes. I decided to choose a variety of black men and women who have been leaders or, um, you know, have contributed to the civil rights movement kind of in different ways. Um, these three individuals, you guys probably have seen their pictures a lot recently. We have Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Ahmaud Arbery. And these three individuals very recently lost their lives. And I feel like their murders have really been um, kind of the catalyst of this um, big movement that we're seeing today for Black Lives Matter. So I felt like they were really important and I wanted to include them, um, especially as this Friday was Breonna Taylor's birthday. I, of course, had to include the Obamas because I just love them so much and I miss having them in the White House every day. I recently just watched the um, Becoming documentary on Netflix, which is about Michelle Obama and she is just so incredible. So I just had to pick a picture with both of them. Here we have Ruby Bridges, who was the first black girl to attend a desegregated school and ever since I was a little girl I remember reading about her story um, which just you know really stood out to me and has always inspired me so I definitely wanted to include her and of course we have the wonderful Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who you know you can't do a civil rights spread without including him he's just um, you know such a great leader of the movement and the last picture I chose is of Marian Wright Edelman I actually didn't know her before um, kind of researching to put this together and she's somebody that kind of really spoke out to me because not only did she start the Head Start uh, preschool program, which um, provides preschool for low-income families, and that's super important, but she also was the founder of the Children's Defense Fund, which I just found out is a nonprofit organization that serves um, children in poverty, children of color, and also children with disabilities. And as a school psychologist, um, those populations of children are so near and dear to my heart. Um, so much of my work, you know, is revolved around supporting them and their families and just just finding ways for them to um, fairly and equally access education. So um, her work definitely, you know, just speaks so much to me as an educator. So I definitely had to include her. Um, I also printed out a couple of these decorative full boxes. I don't know what um, exactly I want to do yet. I was thinking of maybe writing a quote inside. And then these are just little like decorations that I found in black and white and I just thought they might be pretty to um, just use as like deco pieces throughout the spread. Down here I printed out this like skinny bottom washi piece. Um, it has this like heart pattern which I thought was really cute and I think on the top I'm going to um, write a quote so that was my plan. And then the second page here has like just some half boxes that I was planning to pull in. And I actually also have some black boxes here. These are the um, black and gray sheet of my leftover stash. And so I have like a few things that I think I'll be able to pull into this spread. And then I also just pulled out like a few other um, sheets that I have that might work. Um, we've got some like black circles here, some um, heart checklists, and then some icons as well. And these I think will work with the kit if I decide to pull them in. So that is the plan for today. Like I said, I don't have a lot of black and white stickers and so I'm definitely going to have to be a bit creative with how I put this spread together, but it's definitely a challenge that I'm looking forward to and it's obviously supporting something so important. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for this and I will explain everything a little more as I go along. I started by working on my bottom washi, and like I mentioned earlier, um, I decided to write a quote on top of um, the printed washi that I had created. And the quote that I decided to use is from Martin Luther King Jr. And it says, hate cannot drive out hate. 
Only love can do that. And I really love this quote. I think it's really applicable to what's going on right now. And um, just a really good reminder that ultimately it takes love in order to win. So we've got to love each other. You know, we've got to stand up for love. So yeah, that is what I decided to write. And the brush lettering pen that I'm using is the Tombow Fudenosuke. Um, I think this is in the hard tip. I'm not 100% sure because everything on this pen is like in Japanese and I can't read that. Um, so yeah, once I finish that, I go ahead and cut out that bottom washi and then I glue it onto my planner. Um, I don't have any sticker paper, so I just had to use scissors and glue for the spread, which was actually pretty fun because it reminded me of scrapbooking as a kid. For my sidebar this week, I decided to write a quote inside one of these um, decorative full boxes that I had printed out. And the quote that I chose is from Marion Wright Edelman, um, who I mentioned earlier I have included in this spread. Um, the quote says, no person has the right to rain on your dreams. Um, and I just love that and it fit in the box. So I decided to write that in. Um, at this point, I realized that I had somehow flipped to an entirely different week in my planner and I was like in July. So I actually had to lift everything up. Thank goodness the um, glue hadn't like fully dried. So I was able to just peel it up really easily. And then I had to replace everything for the correct week that I was planning. Continuing with my sidebar, on top of the full box, I pulled in this June script sticker, and that is in my writing, and it's from the shop planner just for you. Um, that's the shop that I've been collaborating with to create stickers from my writing, and we are going to be releasing some new stickers finally on Saturday. So definitely check out the shop on Saturday if you would like to pick up our new releases. Um, then for my habit tracker, I found this appointment label. I think it's from a Chic Blossom Prints sampler, and I just covered up the appointment part with a workout sticker from planner just for you so again that's in my writing and then I just go ahead and wrote Monday through Sunday in the box I pulled in this happy moment sticker which also is from planner just for you and will be part of our new releases on Saturday um, and I really really love how that one came out um, so I placed that down and then I decided to use a little leaf deco that I had printed out I wrote in Monday through Sunday again and then for my dinners I pulled in this crock pot sticker I think that's from white deer stationery and I paired it with a dinner's header and that's also from planner just for you and will again be released on Saturday to track my dinners, I decided to use the other decorative full box that I had printed out, and um, I wrote Monday through Sunday inside there, just so I had a little bit of decoration instead of just using white space. Moving on to Monday, I decided to use one of the half boxes that I printed out with the double lines and in it I just wrote Black Lives Matter because that is the theme of this week's spread and I feel like this week there was definitely a lot of emphasis on this movement and there was just a lot going on related to that. Um, on top of that, I used this little bow sticker and that's from Chic Blossom Prints. To mark working from home, I used this little girl working sticker and that is from Let's Plan It. Um, and it was perfect because it was in black and white and that work from home script sticker is from Planner Just For You. I then found this dark gray cloud sticker that I decided to pull in to mark my IEP meeting. Um, that IEP script sticker is one I have not used before and I believe it's from a shop called Me You Sticker Co. Um, so I decided to mark my meeting that way and then underneath that I glued down the full box of George Floyd. I then decided to draw in this little today header and um, I think that worked out really nicely because I didn't have any black and white headers that I could have pulled in. Um, this grocery run sticker is from Love Shira who unfortunately has closed her shop and then at the very bottom I put down an appointment label and this little dumbbell sticker from a shop that's also no longer open um, to mark that I worked out that evening. On Tuesday, I first placed down the full box with MLK on it, and then underneath that, I found this cute little box from Chic Blossom Prints. She had sent me a sampler that was like all in black and white, so I pulled in a ton of stickers from that sheet. Um, anyways, I used that to mark that Tuesday was Blackout Tuesday, so I had posted a little black square on Instagram in solidarity of the Black Lives Matter movement, and um, in addition to that, I did spend a large chunk of the day, you know, coordinating donations with my friends and researching 
approaching different black owned businesses to support. And I've really come to realize that supporting black owned business really isn't about just doing it to support them. It's really about incorporating that business into your lifestyle. So, you know, um, instead of going out to purchase something you may not need or may not ever use, it's really about supporting those shops through purchasing things that you already use in your daily life so that it just becomes a part of your life. So yeah, that was just something I was personally working on that day. I put down a coffee sticker and I believe that shop had rebranded into Bloom Paper Studio. I don't know if she still sells that sticker, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. And then I had an IEP meeting again that afternoon. So I used one of the half boxes that I printed out along with another IEP sticker from Me You Sticker Studio. I then put down a money icon just to indicate what I was working on on that day in relation to Black Lives Matter. And then at the very bottom, I initially drew this cloud outline, but it looks so bad. I just decided to white it out and I pulled in, I think I cut down a heart checklist so that it was just like one of the hearts and I used a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You. For Wednesday, I first glued down a full box at the very bottom and I chose the one with the Obamas. And then moving on to the top of Wednesday, I first put down this little quarter box. I'm pretty sure that was in my leftover stash. And I used this work script sticker on top of that and it's from Planner Just For You. I then used this laptop sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark that I had done some emails and reports for work that day. And then I pulled in another half box that I printed out and um, another IEP sticker from Me You Sticker Studio to mark a meeting that afternoon. I decided to doodle in another today banner and for this one I decided to do like the little wavy banner which I thought was really cute and on Wednesday I actually made a sign because I was going to a protest and I don't have any sign stickers because that's like super specific so I just decided to doodle that in myself and then to mark the sit in protest that I attended I used a half box and this bow sticker which I found in my collection but I actually don't know the shop name because it didn't say on that sticker sheet. We ended up watching the news that night just to stay updated with everything that was going on. And I used a um, TV sticker, which is also from the Sparkly Studio. Moving to Thursday. Um, so Thursday was actually the last day of this school year. And it's been a really strange year, obviously, because we've had to go online and do distance learning. And so um, it's just been kind of a bittersweet ending to this year. And I still wanted to mark that it was last day. So I used a half box and the sunglass stickers. I think I found that in my leftover stash. So I don't know which shop that's from. To celebrate the last day of the year, um, a few coworkers and I did a brunch at one of their houses. Um, we sat out in the backyard because she has like quite a lot of space back there that we were able to spread out. And that utensil sticker is from Bubba Bear Studio. I then went to my school to pack up my belongings because um, I actually just found out that I was moving to a different site for next year. Um, so I had to start packing up everything in my office, which again was super bittersweet. Um, but to mark that, I used a scallop label and this little working girl icon again is from Let's Plan It. Underneath that, I decided to use the full box with Ruby Bridges. Then I used a half box and I drew in a heart myself. Um, I couldn't find any black hearts in my sticker collection. Um, but unfortunately, my grandmother passed away on Thursday. Um, this was not a surprise. She had surgery about a month ago and she's, you know, 93 years old. And so when she had contracted an infection, um, we just kind of knew that it was going to be pretty difficult. And so my parents called us on Thursday to let us know the sad news. Um, unfortunately, because of COVID, I'm not able to fly home to Taiwan to be with my family and to attend the service, which is a really huge bummer. I'm pretty sad about that because she's actually my last grandparent left and I've always managed to make it back for, um, you know, all of my grandparents' funerals. And so, um, but you know, it just is what it is. There's not really anything I can do. So we just kind of have to, you know, accept the reality that we are in this year. Um, but anyways, then at the very end of the night, I think I just needed to decompress. So I just did a YouTube binge and I pulled in a laptop sticker from Hazel sticker, a YouTube binge sticker from planner just for you. And then also this little deco piece that I had printed out. On Friday, I first placed down a full box and I chose the one with Brianna Taylor because Friday was her birthday. Um, then underneath that, I used a half box that I printed out with another bow sticker that I had pulled in earlier in the week to mark that it was her birthday. 
In honor of her birthday, I had sent a birthday card um, to the Attorney General of Kentucky, urging him to arrest and charge the police officers who were involved in Brianna's murder. At this point, I'm pretty sure it's been over 70 days and no one has been arrested or charged yet. So that is completely unacceptable. We definitely have a lot to do still in order to bring justice to her and her family. I then used a circle icon with another working girl from Let's Plan It to mark that I had to finish packing at my site and then said goodbye to some of the staff members who were around. And then I did have a chance to FaceTime my parents that evening and just kind of talk to them about everything that was going on because we didn't really have time to talk um, as much the day before. I used that phone icon, which is from Bubba Bear Studio. And then one of my friends was super sweet and brought me some flowers. I had told her about my grandma's passing and um, I just wanted to mark that because it really brought a smile to my face. At the end of the night, a group of friends and I did a birthday Zoom party for one of our friends, and um, it's been really hard being in quarantine. I know she usually loves to celebrate her birthday, so we just kind of did the best that we could. We all dressed up in our favorite outfits and um, you know, had some drinks together, so it was really great seeing my friends um, amidst you know, all the really tough stuff going on right now. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box and I used the one with Ahmaud Arbery. And then moving to the top, I pulled in a weekend banner, which is also going to be a new release on Saturday from Planner Just For You. It ripped when I was lifting it up, so it is in two pieces, but it was really easy to um, you know, put it together. And I adjusted it a little bit so that it was centered and I really, really love how it turned out. At the top of Saturday, I first drew another Today banner, and um, then underneath that, I placed down a half box that I printed out with these balloon stickers from the icon sheet that I had found. To mark that, I celebrated another friend's birthday. We did a social distance hike and then also a picnic afterwards um, at this large field, so again, we were able to spread out, which is really nice. Then underneath that, I pulled in this appointment label and a sleeping mask sticker. I think that's from Laven Forest, and I used that to mark taking a nap when I got home. At the end of the night, we watched the movie Just Mercy, and it was so good, um, definitely heartbreaking at times, and I also ordered this book. So I'm really looking forward to kind of diving deeper into the story and really understanding what was going on. And then in the remaining space, I used a dumbbell sticker from Hazel Sticker, and I colored it in so that it would be black, and I used that to mark a workout sesh that I did. On to Sunday, I first placed down a quarter box and I pulled in another coffee sticker from Bloom Paper Studio to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee that morning. I then did a YouTube binge and I wanted to use this sticker from Love Shira, um, but again, her laptop was not black and white, so I tried to draw it myself and it looked terrible, like absolutely terrible. So I then lifted it up and used a computer sticker from Hazel Sticker instead. I then placed down my last full box, and that is the one with Marion Wright Edelman. And then underneath that, I cut out another half box that I printed, and I used a shoe sticker. I think this one is from Sticker Sis. I just colored in the shoelaces, which were red, um, just so it would be black and white. And I used that to mark going to a Black Lives Matter protest march. Um, it was in Newport Beach, and I was really surprised that so many people had showed up. I think there were like 200 to 300 people that were there, um, just because Newport tends to be a very, you know, white affluent neighborhood. And so I was just really pleasantly surprised to see um, how many people came out to support and to march. And then underneath that, I used a little things with another meal icon from Bubba Bear Studio to mark that we got some Thai takeout for dinner that night. And then at the end of the night, we watched 13th, which is a documentary on Netflix. Um, I highly recommend you guys watching it if you haven't already. It's extremely educational and eye-opening about just the criminal justice system and how it's pretty much rigged against people of color, black people especially, um, so that you basically don't have a chance to even be successful within the legal system. And that film clapper sticker is from Hazel Sticker. That is it for my week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar to fill out my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Um, once I'm done with that, I decided to place down some date covers. I don't have any date covers in black, 
but luckily one of the new releases that will be out for Planner Just For You on Saturday includes this sheet of Monday through Sunday um, written scripts. And so I decided to pull them in at the very top and we are also releasing a set of date dots in my writing as well. So um, you see me also putting those down. I really like how they turned out and I'm super glad that those made it to me in time for this video because as you can see, I pulled in a ton of stickers from Planner Just For You in this spread. That is it for this spread and I'm just doing a quick walkthrough so you guys can see some of the details. I honestly love how this turned out despite not having a lot of stickers to work with. Um, I love this challenge idea and I just love how the planner community has really come together during this time and um, you know just showing solidarity and support for Black Lives Matter. The last thing I wanted to mention is that I'm still going to be including resources in my description box below. I do kind of change them up a little bit from week to week, depending on new information that I get. So please check down below if you would like to find some ways to contribute to the movement um, or to support the cause. And I know a lot of people have mentioned this, but I also want to as well just reiterate that Black Lives Matter isn't just for this week. Um, it's not just for this month. This isn't, you know, Black Lives Matter Spirit Week. We really need to make sure we continue to put in the work, you know, week after week and month after month in order to truly affect change. So um, with that said, I'm going to conclude this video. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.